Hi there folks, it's me again and welcome to this episode where I'm going to talk you through the four different fits that we offer insulators. They are regular, tailored, slim and skinny. So, got our good friend Zach here, look at that smile, the golden smile. And we're going to start off with the regular fit. Okay, now this is, used to be one of our more popular fits but as times and shapes have changed, regular has become not as popular. Now, for a few reasons of that is, the, the regular sits there on the shoulder, the front of the garment is slightly wider than what you'd find in a tailor fit. It is better for the gentleman who wants a bit of comfort, but also, it is, that's the whole point in the regular, and also for the slightly bigger gentleman who also wants that, who's wanting a simple suit as well. One of the differences in the fits is that you're slightly wider up in the bicep here. Now, with somebody like Zach, his biceps are rather big, so that's not gonna, that kind of kills the point here. Secondly though, you can see there's more fabric in at the waist here. So it gives you a slight bit of shape, just stand by your side, perfect there. A bit of shape there, but not too much, just to give you a bit of extra space there for the comfort. You've got a simple design with the slanted flat pockets there, the two buttons in your lapel. These are all keeping the real regular fit, keeping it simple for the guy who wants to come in nice and quick and get the suit. So with the trousers again, a difference in the fit between the slim tailored uh, and the regular. Again, you come through the hem, and the eyes. So you have the eyes, you've got the thigh, you've got the calf, and you've got the hem, plus the length. So with the eyes, excuse me if you stand up straight for the design and face the camera. So we have the, the eyes is from here to here. With your regular fit, it is higher in the eyes, allowing you to wear it higher up, more classic. Then if you turn to the side, you've got the thigh. It's fuller at the thigh and the calf and then your length is always a touch longer. And the reason being, it gives you that break at the bottom and again, allows it more comfort. And that's the whole purpose of the regular fit suit. The guy doesn't want the fabric touching him, he just wants to be able to throw it on quite nice and for the bigger gentleman as well. So, and ma most of them, when it comes to the regular fit, are two-piece. It's just because again, it comes from the comfort, it's easy to wear, and with the, your colours, your normal plain colours, which is your black, navy, charcoal kind of suit. It's perfect for business as well, for that businessman who just wants to jack on and jack off his in the office, you know? So there you have it. There's some of the main key points when it comes to the regular fit. I'm going to get Zach here to try on the tailored fit, and I'll show you some of the key points I'm tailored. So Zach, if you could do me a favour. Thank you. Go and take that, try that on. Here he is here with a three-piece tailored fit suit. Now, as some of our loyal customers will know, we sell it's like a nested suit. So when you come into the suit stores, you always try on a full suit, there's no mix and match. So Zach here has the three-piece tailored fit suit. Now, the tailored fit has become probably the most popular fit. It's a perfect balance between regular and slim. It's perfect for that guy who wants to be comfortable, but also, still wants to have a bit of uh, shape to him. So, some of the key points again to mention is up at the shoulders here with a tailored fit suit, it's slightly narrow. So the shoulder point to the centre point is slightly narrow. Then we have the shape in at the side. If we button the jacket, sorry I'm in the way, button the jacket like so, there's extra shape in here as well. Still giving us plenty of space though, for the comfort, which is what people would expect. And also, coming from the, the top of the sleeve down, it is narrow. So as you can see here, it gives it more shape. Also, the sleeve is touch shorter as well to show off that bit of cuff just there. Then you look at the waistcoat. Always a five button, well, any waistcoat, the bottom button is always undone, like so. Again, with the waistcoat, it's got a bit of shape to it. But at the back of the waistcoat, of all the waistcoats, let me just take the jacket off for two seconds, okay? To show this. If we come to the back of the waistcoat, we have a bit of paper. From here. Oh, like so, we'll put it in the pocket. We've got the adjuster. So, if you have a wee bit extra here and you want a comfort, you can leave it out or we can bring it in like so to add a bit of definition. Turn around for the Zach. So, a bit of definition there showing the waistcoat slightly full at the chest here taking it in at the side seams. Put your jacket back on just for effect. Thank you. Oh, there we go. It's like a Saturday afternoon in the shop. Then, what I mentioned last time when it comes to the trousers with the regular, with the high rise, 
We now have, when you go to a tailors, you go to a slightly shorter rise. It just makes the waist go, the trousers sit a touch better um, and round the waist, the lower than the waist as well. As you can see, there's not as much fabric as there was in the regular. So again, you're narrowed through the thigh and the trousers here are sitting just on top of the shoe. This is making, again, getting that straight leg allows, it a, bit, allows a more na narrower fit. I was going to get there. <laughs> so there we are there. So that's a, that's a difference. So you still have a bit of fabric for the comfort, especially one of the biggest comments when you come into the shop is if it's sitting down, is it too tight or is it too loose? No, with this, you can sit down without embarrassing yourself, yeah, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. So that is really where we are with that. So there's a... Some of the key points, the difference between a regular and a tailor fit, and as you can see, he is looking ready for his evening event at a wedding. <laughs> okay, so we're going to the third fit, which is a slum fit. So again, asking a young handsome man to go and try that one. Be right back. <clears throat> and here he is, with one of our new slim fits. This suit, again, has become a lot more popular with a slightly younger demographic who want to wear it to races and they really want to have a nice slim fit silhouette especially at the sleeve and at the waist this is perfect for yourself <clears throat> so places where we've seen it slightly more narrow compared to the other two fits again if we come face the mirror for us if we come the sleeve here there's not a lot of fabric to play with here which is great for that look it makes them look muscular and a more f uh, physical shape also exactly like that there that's exactly what I'm after and then when you button it, you can see there's a lot more pull in here, which again for that, it shows off, it defines his shape, shall we say. The jacket's a lot shorter, and then with the fact that up at the shoulders here, it's a lot narrower from here to here, that brings his sleeve up even more, again showing more cuff. So these are some, some of the small details which just makes that fit a lot more popular and more fitted for that younger guy who wants to show off at least. Especially when he's been to the gym that day, working out, you know, he goes for a few drinks afterwards. So, and then you've got the waistcoat. Again, similar, similar to the tailored. We have this, the back adjuster at the back here. But with this, this shape of the waistcoat is a lot more popular when it comes to the younger fits like slim and skinny, which we'll come on to with horseshoe. It's very Peaky Blinders-esque. Again, when we come to the trousers, throughout the rise is much the same. Once we go get to this, it's now going to be much the same. It's not going to see the kind of regular uh, rise. So the, the guy can wear it slightly lower. And when you're wearing the slim, there's not a lot of difference between the gut, waist, and the thigh, and much the same. So your ride isn't as important then. Then turn to the side. As you can see now, there's not that much fabric at the thigh, and the trouser is half an inch shorter, usually compared to a tailored and a regular fit. So the trouser now sits on top of the shoe, and it's slightly narrow. Your hem width is about a 15 or 14 and a half to 15 hem width at this point as well. So you're now getting all these different pieces and touches on the fit <clears throat> to just make your whole suit look better. Now there's a few points in this suit to, young, to make it look slightly younger, i.e. you've got the pocket hanky, you've got a small uh, rabbit pin there, which is quite like nice. This is something that you wear to like the races or something. That's even. a perfect suit to wear to the races. Walking down, you get all the attention and something like this. Exactly, <laughs> that is one of them. You can jazz it up. Also, what you want to do with what that you see done is wear a slim fit shirt with it. There's nothing worse than if you have a tailored or a regular fit shirt. It's sitting there and there's lots of it's crumpled. It's not you. You want to wear it quite nice. You want to wear it nice and fitted. And then when you take a jacket off, the sleeves nice and narrow as well. Other ways to style up a slim fit suit. You can easily wear the t-shirt with the suit, or you can wear a nice pair of white sneakers, which just really casuals the outfit up as well, but also keeps the kind of young, slim yeah. silhouette. So there are some key differences when it comes, everything is just a lot narrower when it comes to the slim fit. Now, at Slater's, what we've started to do is increase our size range as well. So we now go up to a 52 in chest size and our slim fits. So it's allowing that guy who may be popular going to the gym, who is slightly bigger up here, and smaller here, the slim fit will benefit them, and it's like we get the three alterations as well. So that's a benefit as well. So we're going to move on to our small, narrow, most narrow fit, which is a skinny fit, and it's quite a subdued check, as you can tell. If you could try that one, that'd be great. Yeah. Cheers. Well, look at this. So Zach here is wearing our skinny fit. Now, the skinny fit is our most narrow for obvious reasons. You can already see a difference in the four different fits 
And here, the main one is definitely up top here, as you can see. Zach came on just off camera and saying it feels a lot narrower. Yeah, that yeah. correct, yeah? Feels more tight, but I've got good tight. Do you know what I mean? It feels good. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And also, there's not as much excess fabric on these suits. Don't as feel in, loose. Yeah, you have more restricted, which again, it's showing off your shoulders, your biceps. This is really what you're wanting. That's the main thing when it comes to the jacket. If you just take your hands out of your pockets and you've got this jacket buttoned up, you can see as well the shape of the silhouette in here as well. The jacket is a lot shorter, we normally run about a 73 centre back length as well. And again, with it being narrower here, the sleeve rise up showing more cuff than what we've seen in the regular tailor and the slim. So, again with the waistcoat as well, when it comes to the skinny fit suits, this is where it's buyers we kind of play about with more styles, with the lapels, it's the slimmer lapels. The waistcoats, you get the shawl lapel waistcoat in this particular one with the six button. All these different things is aimed at the younger consumer who would be wearing this. So these are all different we plays on, we, we do when we're buying the product, aimed at proms and horse racing. We do things like the linings as well. I was Jasmine, that. Yeah, you were mentioning I'm afraid, that. But, like, you know, I really like that. It's the bold, exciting. Yeah, yeah. Not as if we need that when you look at the bold check already here. And then if we move on to the trousers, again, it is a really short rise. So it sits a touch lower than what the regular or the slim or the tailored would do. <clears throat> There's not a lot of fabric left in the thigh here at all. In fact, just enough for the big man, Matt, Isaac, to sort this out and be able to walk about seeing people. And again, you can see here, the trousers sitting just above his shoe now, so every trouser's getting a touch shorter and shorter and shorter. Again, it just gives it that more slimmer look, sleeker look, and it's perfect for that. And also another point when it comes to our skinny suits is we try to put elastane into every fabric that we use, purposely because of the narrow effect, it allows you more movement, but still gives you that sleek fit, which is what all the other ones are actually after. So there we have it. There's your four different fits that we run at Slater's, uh, from regular, tailored, slim, and skinny. So on the comments below, comment your favorite fit. Zach, what's your favorite fit out of the four? I'd probably say, um, the, the, um, the, the, was it the first one where I was wearing regular fit? Yes. And then this one? Yeah. So another two, yeah. You got two different looks here as well. You're going one business into one fashion. So there's two different fits uh, and different ideas of what you'd wear it to. So yes, there you have it. As I mentioned, Zach's now mentioned two of them. You mentioned your favorite below. And any other comments, leave them below. All right. And if you want to see more of me, make sure you subscribe. Oh, he just left me hanging as well. Oh. I don't even see you there. <gasps> oh.